Part of what makes an exercise successful is the ability of the players to meet exercise goals and objectives. To accomplish this, the control staff needs to coordinate and communicate effectively throughout the exercise at multiple locations. The control structure is a framework that guides exercise play to meet objectives and deliver and track exercise information. This video will discuss exercise control structure, roles and responsibilities of control staff, and the life cycle of an inject. Exercise control structure. For exercises that span multiple sites or venues, exercise planners can improve communication and coordination by establishing a master control cell, or MCC. The MCC is a location used in operations-based exercises where the overall exercise conduct is coordinated and managed. As a larger part of the organizational structure, the MCC is responsible for managing the progression of an exercise and compiling information into a common operating picture. Ideally, the MCC has a point of contact representing each participating jurisdiction or organization. The simulation cell, or sim cell, is a component of the MCC where controllers coordinate and deliver events representing actions, activities, and conversations of a jurisdiction or organization that is not participating in the exercise. Depending on the type of the exercise, the sim cell requires various means of communication, such as a telephone, computer, email account, or radio. The measle may be projected onto a large screen in a sim cell and shared across multiple venues during the exercise. In smaller exercises, all activities may be coordinated through the MCC. If an exercise contains multiple geographic locations, consider establishing venue control cells, or VCCs, as needed to communicate and coordinate through. Roles and Responsibilities of Control Staff Clearly defined and understood roles and responsibilities provide clear structure and expectations to those conducting the work, creating an opportunity for a successful exercise. A lead controller monitors exercise progression, communicates exercise activities throughout all venues, and manages the control staff. A measle manager is an individual that manages the timely and accurate delivery of injects, monitors expected player actions, and decides on the need to release contingency injects. They are responsible for tracking the inject throughout its life cycle, from the time it is released until the appropriate responses are taken. A sim cell controller oversees activities in the sim cell. They coordinate with the measle manager or may act as the measle manager and direct simulators and actors. This is not to be confused with a simulator, who delivers scenario messages representing actions, activities, and conversations of jurisdictions or organizations that are not participating in the exercise. A ground truth advisor is responsible for confirming that the scenario details remain consistent throughout exercise conduct. They also coordinate with other members of the exercise staff to maintain a common operating picture. A venue controller is responsible for setting up and operating a specific exercise location. They manage exercise play and deliver injects to prompt player actions. A safety controller is responsible for overseeing that the exercise is being conducted in a safe environment. Based on the size and scope of an exercise, the control staff may take on multiple roles. Now that we've discussed the roles and responsibilities of control staff, let's walk through the life cycle of an inject and show how these roles come into play. Life cycle of an inject. In this example, we are conducting a full-scale exercise which demonstrates the ability of Central City staff to receive and notify appropriate parties, utilizing Central City's notification system regarding a hazmat spill within 15 minutes of initial notification. There are several locations and participants in this exercise. The 911 Center and staff, the Emergency Operations Center, or EOC, and staff, the Hazmat Spill Location and Responders, and the MCC, containing the SimCell, which hosts participants that will simulate actions of individuals, jurisdictions, or organizations that are not participating in the exercise. Now that you know who the players are and where the exercise is taking place, let's get started. Inject number one is a phone call from a bystander to the 911 center following an accident involving a hazmat spill. 
The lead controller, who is located in the MCC, asks the SIM cell controller if the staff is ready for the inject, in this case, the phone call. The SIM cell controller then asks the venue controller if the venue is ready for inject number one. The venue controller confirms that they are ready to start the exercise with the first inject. The SIM cell controller confirms readiness to the measles manager, who then releases inject one by telling the simulator to make a phone call to the 911 center reporting an accident involving a hazmat spill. The venue controller confirms that the players received the phone call, or inject one. Once the inject is released, the players act on the phone call by issuing an applicable emergency notification. The venue controller confirms that the players took action on inject one and the measles manager marks it as complete. Let's use another example within the same exercise. The exercise has progressed and we are getting ready to release inject number 18, which is an alert from the weather service to the EOC. The lead controller asks the SIM cell controller if the staff is ready for the inject, in this case, a weather alert. The SIM cell controller then asks the venue controller if the venue is ready for inject 18. The venue controller confirms that they are ready for the inject. The SIM cell controller confirms readiness and the measles manager releases inject 18, a weather alert, which should indicate to the players that the plume from the hazmat spill will affect an apartment complex nearby. The venue controller confirms that the players received the weather alert, or Inject 18. Once the inject is released, the players act on the weather alert by issuing a shelter-in-place order for the apartment complex. The venue controller confirms that the player took action on Inject 18. The sim cell controller confirms to the measles manager that the inject is complete, who then marks the inject as such. And there you have it, the life cycle of an inject within a control structure. Now that you understand the elements of a control structure and the life cycle of an inject, you are ready to conduct your own operations-based exercise. Good luck!